Good morning. It looks good from here. As Christian just outlined, I was in charge of organizing as a project manager the orientation week in 2007. And obviously I was always sitting on the other side looking at the speakers, so it is very impressive now to look at all your faces. Dear students, this is your day and probably it will be your week because what is lying ahead of you is probably one of the most exciting things in your studies, working in small groups, working on problems, on dilemmas, as I've heard, and I think this will be very, very exciting for you to get to know each other, to get to know Lüneburg, to get to know the Leuphana, and obviously get to know all the professors and the staff. So I'm very happy to be here. It is absolutely exciting to me because Christian mentioned it. I joined Leuphana in 2007, in February, and then I took over the project of running the orientation week. And I have to admit, I was very excited because the keynote speaker at that time was Jimmy Carter, the former US president. Don't ask me how we managed to get him. But it was in a church also, not this one, but the other one, St. Michaelis Church. And two weeks before the orientation week started, we had police all over the place. Dogs, dogs, not dogs, dogs running around the church <laughs> trying to find bombs. We had a secret service in town, so it was a lot more spectacular than what you experience today. I don't have any security nor bodyguards with me, but I'm still very happy to be here because even though I'm a former colleague, I, I still feel very attached. I still feel very attached to the Leuphana because it has shaped me and my thinking tremendously. It was almost seven years from 2007, as Christian said, to at the end of 2013. And I did many things here as part of the presidential office, orientation week on the one hand, and complementary studies on the other hand, and a lot of small and big projects always related to what is in your interest and what was of your concern, the students' concern. So, and I'm really, really happy to be here and many thanks for inviting me for the orientation week and the opening of the semester. I certainly remember my own semester as well. It was not here, it was at the University of Freiburg and very soon I became clear that it is not all about sitting together in groups, handing in papers, preparing presentations, meeting deadlines. It is also about assuming social responsibility, being there for each other, and of course taking the opportunities you are given. And uh, Sascha Spoon already mentioned it, you are given a great opportunity, not only to be here at Leuphana, because you will feel that this is a, this is a great, uh, great community, students and staff community you will experience, but also the opportunity to engage yourself and to have the possibility to find out what your strengths are and in how far you would like to give a commitment back to society. And this is what I have learned here during my work at the presidential board, the presidential office at Leuphana. I worked hard and at the same time I always felt the commitment to give society something back and that's why I started engaging myself with the Green Party at that time and I was elected the president of the Green Party in Hamburg and when I now look at what is lying ahead of you, like talking about dilemmas. I had my personal dilemma in 2013 because I really liked what I did at university because this is very special what is happening here, the study program, the way the reforms, study reforms in Germany are being carried out. It is very special what is happening here. So I liked it a lot and at the same time I felt that I could move a step forward in politics. So that was my personal dilemma in 2013, really asking myself to quit the job here and to move ahead in politics. And I took the risk, and being in dilemmas also means being able to take a risk and to fail. And if you fail, you can fail, but you have to stand up again. In my, in my case, it worked out nicely. It could have worked out in a different way, but that was definitely my personal dilemma in 2013 when I decided to leave university 
even though all I experienced here is still very present and it helps me in my everyday life and to go into politics. But all this means not only, as Sasha Spoon outlined, not only freedom, but sometimes also taking a risk. And I would like to give you some practical approaches, maybe to what studies help you then in the future and when it comes to taking decisions also related to what is ahead of you in your orientation week with um, minimizing dilemmas or even solving dilemmas. Anyone who comes to Hamburg these days has to recognize that there is new social commitment, new engagement provided almost everywhere. People from different social groups, particularly from the universities, state-run or private, are very much committed to the most challenging issue these days. And it has also been mentioned, but I would really like to focus on that because it is of a big concern, not only to Hamburg, but the rest of Germany and all the municipalities. It's the fact how to deal with the refugees coming to our cities. And two questions are paramount. And I want to give you the Hamburg example, and then I will talk about the dilemma afterwards. How we are going shelter for the refugees that are arriving, especially in view of the oncoming autumn season, and how can we help young college-age people to find a perspective in education to begin or continue working toward their academic degree. And at least the first of these questions has a strong similarity to the dilemmas you will be dealing with during your orientation week. And I will tell you why, especially for me as a Green Party person who has always had a big focus on migration and refugee issues in their program. For a long time, Hamburg government held on the goal of not housing any refugees in tents. Then more and more came, and very soon we had to modify this goal to not housing any refugee in tents in winter. In the meantime, the tents are made winterproof. And as far as the size of shelter went, for a long time we said, no shelter for more than 200 people. And by now we have arrived at a planned size of more than 3,000. But no matter what, we will not give up on our resolution to prevent homelessness. And if you see that from coming a very idealistic position of taking in people, looking for shelter, providing them with proper accommodation through the goal to prevent homelessness, that clearly shows you the dilemma we are facing every day. And I don't know who of you uh, switched on the radio this morning or read the paper. We had a big fight in Hamburg-Bergedorf this night between Afghan people and Syrian people in one of our big shelters. And we have several people who slept outside one of the reception offices in Hamburg-Harburg. This just gives you an idea with what we have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis politically. And I don't want to scare you, but you are the ones who will be the solution finders. Maybe not in the next seven days, but maybe you find an approach and a way on how to, how to tackle this problem and maybe many other problems too. In Hamburg, the universities, they have shown a great sense of responsibility, commitment and empathy. And a little time ago, it was not the press release Christian mentioned, the, the common agreement, but we have also published a joint press release listing the different involvement shown by the universities. And they show support in finding suitable accommodation and housing. They are very much involved in opening up universities, even for those who can't prove that they have degrees in their home countries or that they went to school. So at the, at the moment, we are really in talks with the federal government and, of course, the lender level to find a solution for these people. Then we have some practical examples from, from Hamburg where they help refugees. Special welcome events, specialized orientation services, English language auditor programs, English language lectures, open to refugees, buddy programs, and many more. Just to give you an idea maybe what you can do when it comes to 
societal commitment to social entrepreneurship and for the simple fact to do next two year studies a bit of engagement and a bit of commitment. This is really the biggest, biggest challenge we are facing at the moment. There is a new big challenge I just want to stress on slightly because I know it is controversially debated but it can also imply a lot of dilemmas we are facing and that's the idea of the historical change for Hamburg to handle a bit for the Olympic Games. And maybe half of you will say, oh, that's really a great chance and a great opportunity for a city like Hamburg to apply for the biggest sports event. And the others will be very critical and skeptical. Maybe this is an idea for a dilemma too, in order to make a city, a small and relatively unknown city, able to prepare for democratic, for sustainable, for smarter games and to solve this dilemma. Here again, we have the universities, we have the ideas of universities, and I see my job as a minister of getting universities together to discuss topics, to provide a platform, and to let the universities be an innovation driver and a problem solver. And that's why I enjoy it to address you, because you are part of a university. It's not just your professors, it's not just staff. You can take on responsibility, you can, you can address topics, you can really, you really be part of a problem and part of a solution when it comes to those big issues and big challenges. So my idea is to opening the University of Society, one of my main objectives because to me, universities are not only sites of abstract knowledge, learning and research, but as I said, problem solvers and innovation drivers. And I think Loifana has asked of itself this always. And this is one of the reasons why I decided in 2007 to come here to work with Loifana, because this is what I really appreciated, because it was not only about studying, it was also about commitment, societal commitment, and taking on responsibility. In this sense, and due to my own personal bias, I can only congratulate each and every new student most sincerely on your choice of his or her university and the place they will be studying it. You will have a great time here. You will be well prepared for the dilemmas that involvement with society will present to you and dear students, dear faculty members, I wish you a great start to the semester, much fun and success during your studies. Enjoy it all and always be aware of the opportunities you have been given and your obligation to society. Thank you very much and enjoy your week. <laughs>